Hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just overlooking my old science fair project and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... What is a good experiment for the science fair? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need a six-pack of regular soda. Okay, head to your kitchen and bring with you a six-pack of cola. The cola was right here! <laughs> okay, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the entire six-pack and you're gonna shake, shake, shake! Whoa! What are you, crazy? That's what they call me, crazy Chris! Shaking them up, you're gonna get yourself one can! Now, we're gonna open this can! I should have expected that. Okay, get yourself a second can! Okay, take your second can and you're gonna tap the top of it! Woo! Okay, now you're gonna open Okay, get your third can. Okay, with this third can, you're gonna smack the side of the can, like this. Bow! And now, we're gonna open this can. Look out! Whoa, it didn't bubble over that time. So, why doesn't this one erupt like the other ones did? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason the pop explodes at the top of the can after it is shaken is because CO2 bubbles build up on the can side. When the can is open, the bubbles rush up through the liquid and you get the erupting soft drink. Slapping the side of the can dislodges the bubble buildup and sends the bubbles to the top of the can. When you open the can now, the CO2 escapes with little to no liquid. Science fairs are set up to take you through the scientific method. The first step of the scientific method starts by observing a problem and asking a question such as, how do I stop the pot from exploding out the can? The second step is to make a hypothesis or a guess on how to stop the pot from exploding out of the can. Many people hypothesize that tapping the top of the can before you open it will stop the eruption. The third step is to design an experiment, or a test that will give you a scientific answer. In this case, we experiment with tapping the top versus slapping the side of the can. The fourth step is to write down the data you collect for each step of the experiment. In this case, we recorded the eruption from the top tap and no eruption from the side slap. The fifth and final step is to write up a conclusion based on what you observe from doing the experiment. In this case, we can conclude that slapping the side of the can is a much better way to stop the soda from erupting. So now you have a really cool science fair project. You know, hitting the side of the can instead of tapping the top is why science is so cool.